And welcome to uh, to another Periscope of uh, a bit of mind hacks and motivation. Um, we're just going to let people join. Cindy Bellar is here. Cindy, I've um, I've not seen your name pop up on these scopes before. If you're new to these scopes, then uh, then please let us know where you're viewing from. Sammy Sue is here as well. Sam, good evening. Hope you uh, hope you're well. If you're watching this on a replay, by the way, guys, and thank you so much for joining us as well. If you're watching it on Periscope, you can um, still hard it up if you like it. Although you won't be able to comment like these guys can comment. Um, Senk Gus is here. As as well let us know where you are you are viewing from as well Chris Kleins is here uh, there's quite a lot of new names for those who don't know me my name is Ross I'm an actor and a voiceover artist from Manchester here in the UK let me know where you're watching from um, and I scope three times a week on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 p.m. every night uh, Monday Wednesday and Friday Monday and Wednesday we do something called motivation and mind hacks which is all about kind of hacks for your mind tips on productivity motivation getting things done further faster Always love your talk, says Cindy. Cindy, I've never, um, I've never seen your your name pop up before. Maybe you've been watching kind of uh, covertly, but thank you. Um, I appreciate you joining us. Um, and yeah, on Fridays as well, we use something called Book Club, uh, Bulletproof Book Club, where we look at a book which is generally on mindset or about getting shit done and kind of you know tips and hacks for your life that's going to enable you to live at a higher level. Um, it really helps people with a higher vision for their self and their life to kind of get stuff done and get further faster. I'm playing Hamlet in February. If you want to come, let me know. It's in London. Awesome. It's uh, wicked. Well, yeah, tweet me. Chris, tweet me. Um, at Ross A. Grant. Um, let me know. I'm not down in London all the time, but I go down there for work occasionally. So, uh, so if I'm about, I will. Uh, I always like to pop in, see what's going on in in, in London theatre. Um, so on Monday night scope just gone, uh, we looked at a um, we looked at a little bit of a hack that I put into my life a few years ago that really made a, uh, a big difference, and that was the fact that most people. It doesn't matter if you're an actor or you're not an actor. I know a lot of actors watch these scopes because I'm an actor, and you know. But this stuff applies to just everybody in their life. People use December as an excuse to wind down and then just get nothing done because they go, well, you know what? I was thinking of going to the gym and getting in shape, but you know, I'll start in January. I'm going to use December to just pig out and get fat, or you know, that those letters I wanted to write, to, you know, to those agents or those casting directors. I'm going to do it in January. Um, I can't do it in uh, in December. Kim, good evening. Thanks for joining us. Um, and, and what they do is they, they work an 11 month year, just an 11 month year. Now that what that does, which is great, let them do that. I love that because what it lets us do the 1% of people who aren't sheep, the 99% of people who are sheep and just all do the same thing, it lets us 1%, evening Kim, it lets us um, get ahead, ultimately just get ahead. It lets us effectively work a 13 month year because not only are we working that 12 month, but they're not working it. So we effectively get the benefit of two. Okay, so we get the, work, the, the month that we're working, but they're not working it. So we get our 13 month year they get their 12 month year. Now Lee, who I've not seen pop up on the uh, on the scope yet. I don't know if he's watching on the web. It won't tell, if he's watching on the web it won't tell me that he's joined. I am plugged in Kim, I'm on it. I'm on aeroplane mode as well. No coffee tonight, but I've got a green tea. I mixed two tea bags tonight. I've got green tea mixed with lemon and lime and orange tea or something like that. Um, but yeah, Lee said that he wanted to do tonight's scope because I always get people to to um, kind of suggest topics. He wanted to do tonight's scope on time management because he, he didn't think he was getting enough done. So if we get his time management sorted, he can use December even better. Okay, so it's the 25th of November right now as I uh, as I record this. So we've got five days to get our shit together, guys, so that in December we can smash it and then we can hit the ground running in 2016 when all the sheep, the 99% of the other people who aren't watching this scope or aren't aware, um, are all just kind of waking from this haze of Christmas and drink and alcohol and, you know, and, and you know, just having a start from from a, like a standing start effectively. You're going to be hitting the ground running and getting ready to smash it. So I've distilled down, I mean I've got loads of like stuff I could talk about on productivity and I want to do a goal setting uh, scope that'll be quite a long one later in December that's going to try and you know really get you clear on your goals and what you want to achieve in 2016 and also how you can really manage those goals so that you're, you're not overwhelmed, you're not just kind of like right you know I don't know how I'm going to achieve these, you can really chunk them down into manageable um, kind of segments, I guess. Go and attack them, and, uh, and really, you know, have the most productive year ever. I want 2016, obviously, to be all of our best years ever. But tonight, I've just got five very simple tips. I've got five, five time management. Gemma's here. I thought you might fall asleep, Gemma. Put your ear. I've got five time management tips. Okay which are going to maximise your productivity for 2016 and beyond. But let's not even look at 2016, let's just look at December for now, okay? So for these time management tips, I want you to 
just deploy in your life in December. The first one, which is, it's a bit ironic this, because we're on Periscope, <laughs> okay. But the first one, I've done this, uh, the slides are back, the slides are back Sam, definitely. Gemma's only just made it, well thank you for joining us Gemma, I appreciate you. Um, yeah, the, um, the first one is, I say, well yeah, just because we're on Periscope. It's about social media though, and we all have this issue in our lives. I know I bang on about it a lot, but it's because I really feel passionate about it. If you really want to get stuff done, guys, you've got to hide or you've got to uninstall social media apps, right? I say on non-essential devices. Now, what I mean by that, let me read this slide first. So this is extra important if you use your smartphone for business purposes. So if you're, you know, you're on your smartphone emailing, whether that's agents, casting directors, you know, people in the industry, or just whatever business you're in. If you're on your phone a lot, it's dangerous. So assuming you're not strictly disciplined yet, right, the best thing is to hide your social media apps that tend to be a nuisance and distract you throughout the day, right? It's too easy to pick up your phone, see Facebook, Twitter, I mean, we've got Instagram, aren't we, Periscope. Um, I can't do this, says <laughs> Chris. And Kim never added them to a phone. Well, that's good, Kim, that you never added them. Um, Facebook, Twitter, we've got Periscope, Instagram, um, you know, all these social networks. Um, and then you end up doing something that you never planned, right? Like browsing through your timelines. Uh, timelines? Timelines. If you can't see it, then you may not be tempted or distracted from the risk at hand, okay? Now, when I say, Ruth is here. Good evening, Ruth. When I say about non-essential um, devices, okay, I, I actually use Twitter and Facebook in my business, right, for, for well, you know, I'm scoping from my phone, you know, that, that, that's how it works for me, and I run a few websites, so I run actonthis.tv, it's a community for actors, if you're not part of it yet, come and join, it's completely free, um, come and check that out, um, I also run a, a voiceover training company as well, and I run a mindset company for actors as well, so I have to tweet out business stuff like that, a lot of it I've automated actually, and it happens from home and from my office where I don't even have to do it from my phone, I've got there's some very clever softwares that you can get that really help you, you know, run your business social media wise. But what I do from time to time, if I'm like knuckling down, super focused, is I'll take them off my phone completely and I will only use social media when I'm actually at my desk. So if it's on my laptop or it's on my Mac, so my desktop Mac or my MacBook, I'm allowed to use it. If it's on my phone and I'm, I, I'm in a zone where I'm like, right, the next four weeks I've got to get this product out and I've got to do this and got to knuckle down, I will just get rid of it. So it's not even at hand because I do that with Sky News, I do that with a lot of you know apps that, that kind of can easily distract you. Because you might sit down, you know, to do something, maybe you set you set your goals on your phone. So I use an, an app called Evernote and I use something called Workflowy as well. Check Workflowy out. I've said it on a uh, Hitesh is here. Hello Hitesh. I've said it on a few scopes, but workflowy.com is a brilliant app for getting lists of things done. It's completely free and you can create a list and you can drill down within items in your list. It syncs to your phone, it syncs to your Mac or your PC um, and it, it's just a really nice, clean way of organising something actually that I'm going to talk to you about in a minute, which is actually number three or four of these, of these tips. Um, so if that's on my phone and I'm using Workflowy on my phone to update what I'm doing and my list of things that I've got to get done, and then Twitter's there, or Facebook's there, or Periscope's there, or Instagram's there, you know, or all these things are there. It's very tempting, Sky News, whatever it is, it's very, very tempting. Um, thanks for inviting your followers, Satesh. Um, it's very tempting to um, skip Workflowy for 10 minutes and just go, oh, I'll just check on Facebook what's going on, or I'm just gonna check on Twitter. Give me some hearts if you get it. Give me some hearts if that's you. I think we're all fallible, um, but for December, let's ditch it. You know, only have it if you've got a desktop computer at home or a laptop at home. Tweet and do whatever you want. Thanks for sharing, Kim. Um, you know, do all your social media when it's work time and you're at your desk, but don't have it on your phone when you're out and about, particularly if you do work from your phone. Because it, it has, I'm talking about experience, I'm not, you know, I'm not an angel, right? It's killed my productivity some days. Some days, man, because it happens, it snowballs, doesn't it? You'll see a, uh, thank you, Cindy, for sharing. Thanks, uh, thank you very much. Hey, Yas, how are we doing, buddy? Um, it kills you because I'll get on Facebook and I might go, oh, I'm just going to check one thing. So I might check the Facebook group for Bulletproof Actor. Thanks for sharing, Gemma. Um, and, then, and then I'll see a video that someone go, oh, must watch this. And sometimes, right, there are, the internet's not just full of cats playing pianos anymore. There are some uh, some pretty good videos. Um, Yas got sidetracked doing his own work before he got on the scope. Well, that's good, as long as you're doing work, Yas, I don't mind that at all, mate. Uh, you can catch up on the replay, no problem. Um, 
but yeah, there are some pretty good videos now where, you know, that do teach us stuff or people will post talks and stuff that's actually quite useful. But again, even if it is useful, it might not be your highest point of contribution in that minute for getting what you need to get done. And that's what becoming an essentialist is. We looked at this book in Book Club um, by a guy called Greg McKeown called Essentialism. If you've not, oh, oh, he's throwing, <laughs> throwing everything around. If you've not got this book and you didn't get part, you didn't join, join the book clubs that we did on this, um, you can go over to actonlist.tv and you can uh, click on Periscope and then you can search for the uh, for the um, the posts that are tagged with essentialism. And um, Greg McKeown wrote this book called Essentialism, and it's brilliant. It's about um, working on the one thing that is your highest point of contribution at that time to get your goals done, not working on 15 and having this happen where you make a millimetre of progress on each one. You work on one thing and make loads of progress. So you get that. Okay, so posting about about all stuff on your Facebook page and you get distracted. Absolutely. I'm hugely tired but I thought I'd drop in live. Too much time spent on Facebook and Twitter. Absolutely, Ruth. Definitely. I get it. Thank you for joining us live though. Um, so get that. Get the book. Screenshot it if you want now. But get this book, guys. It's brilliant. We did like four weeks of book club on this. We read quite a lot of it but still wasn't enough to you know get through the whole book. So... Uh, Check it out. Get the uh, get the book by Greg Greg McKeown. Really, really good. So that's time management tip number one. Okay, delete social media apps from your phone, from your iPad. Okay, be strict with where you access social media. I'm not telling you to get rid of it. It's very, very useful. Um, but just be strict on where you access it. So when I'm knuckling down, I will only access it on my MacBook or my Mac when I'm here. I won't access it when I'm out and about. Number two, if we're going to get clear on what's wasting our time. We need to be aware of it, guys. So, so I want you to do this. You can do this tonight, okay? Straight after this scope, just simply write down a list of time wasters because you might not even be aware of what is wasting your time. You know, when I'm writing, when I'm kind of like in writing mode, or you know, I'm writing to do, I don't want my phone ringing every second. I don't want an extra tab open for Facebook or YouTube. You know, the same should go for you, right? An easy way to find out what's burning all your time is to write down everything you feel isn't helping you progress, right? So your list might be like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, TV, texting, long phone calls, you know, with friends and family, video games, obsessive email checking. People like get so much spam these days, um, but they just love checking it and deleting it. And you'll spend half an hour just deleting spam out your inbox. Daydreaming, Sam, yes, absolutely. Mine is gonna be a long list. It's great though, Cindy, honestly, get your, um, you know, just get it down though, get it out of your head and onto the paper, right? You can't maximize your productivity if you don't even know, you know, where your time's running off to. So get down everything that's irrelevant or not serving your time well, so that you can manage your days better. Okay, and by the way, um, you can screenshot these slides if you want, but there will be on the replay on actsonlist.tv tomorrow, there will be a PDF document where you can download all these slides as well, just to remind yourself. You can print them up, uh, print them out, stick them up on your wall, uh, whatever you like. But yeah, let's get clear on what wastes our time, you know, what it is um, in your life. Because it won't just be social media, there'll be lots of stuff. I love writing creative stories and always get inspired when I need to do uni work. Okay, um, I mean, that's not, a, that's not a terribly bad habit, Kim, in terms of we spoke about things in your life that will sharpen your saw so when you get tired from like uni work you know and you want to go and do something that isn't just picking out in front of the TV that's not going to sharpen your saw so when you come back you're not just pick, picking up a blunt axe so to speak to carry on with your uni work it might be you have half an hour out to do some creative writing and then uh, and then you come back you know with your saw well and truly sharpened you know to carry on your uni work um, but again if it's not your highest point of contribution to achieve the goal that you are currently after achieving don't do it, don't sacrifice it, don't get sidetracked. Uh, so that's number two, let's get clear on what is wasting our time, because we might not even know exactly, we might just think it's Twitter and Facebook, um, but really it's lots of other, you know, other things as well that we get distracted with. Third thing, it's kind of just a very brief thing about goals, but it's about not just setting goals, but also setting goals, and these are daily goals by the way, these aren't things that are like, you know, in the next year I want to achieve such and such a thing, and you know, these aren't smart goals or anything like that, they're very simple goals for the day, but we want to set them up with reminders, and we can do this with so many apps for free on our phone, um, that aren't uh, going to distract us like Twitter, get rid of, the, get rid of the, the social media apps, replace them with productivity apps. So if your goal is to run like at least a mile every day, right, because we're talking about fitness the other day, and we're all doing this run in May, May the 22nd in Manchester, we're doing the uh, the Bulletproof Actor 
um, Manchester 10k. So if you want to train for that and your and your run is you know a mile every day, um, but if that if that goal is attached to a reminder or a timer, say so it goes off in your phone. So every night at half eleven, my journal ring like goes off and goes time to write in your journal now, and that's where I kind of do my uh, my list and stuff for the next day, which I'm going to go through in a minute. I wouldn't necessarily do it if I wasn't reminded about it because sometimes I get sidetracked. Evernote is good Sam, Evernote's really very very good, I've got the premium Evernote, it's about five a month of premium but it means it syncs between all your devices. Um, so it says no one enjoys disappointing themselves right, so if you've got a reminder and it says hey Sam you've got to do this, Cindy uh oh you've not done your, your one mile today, um, then you don't like to disappoint yourself so you're reminded of it, you're held accountable. Right? A cool way you can do this is with the app Evernote that Sam just said there. You can get it on the on Android or the Apple Store for free and you get a premium version for like a five or a month and that means you can get more storage on it and you can access it on all devices. It syncs between all your devices so if you make an update on one it updates on all the others. So every morning or every night I'd recommend that you set your daily goals okay, with reminders for the day ahead and I call this a punch list. I didn't get that term actually, I didn't make that, that punch list up. A guy called Joel Brown, uh, who's a bit of a mentor of mine, said that. He goes, I get a punch list every day. He says, you know, um, I find it so much easier to look at my daily goals before the day, before the day begins, because my mind is fresh, you know, it absorbs the information easier. Which goals must you get, uh, you know, get up and punch tomorrow? So what's your punch list, he says. And that might just be like three things for the day. And remember, you know, we're talking just really important things for you. Be like, if I could only do three things today, and I wasn't going to get distracted, what have I got to punch bang, well I've got to punch off that list today and that might be um, three just simple things, that have to be massive huge goals, like I say they're not like big end gaming kind of things, it might be paying some bills, um, you know, it could be going to get your hair cut, it could be you know, the things that are going to make you feel good um, in your life and help you, uh, you know, just achieve again the highest point of contribution to achieving your goals. Um, so if we set that up the night before, we have a little alarm going off, like my journal, um, it's called uh, day one. Uh, journal, it goes bing 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 and it, and it actually comes up on my phone, it comes up on my Mac, I've said it's come up on my MacBook, so whatever I'm working on, it reminds me regardless. Um, and it's like, Ross, it's time to do this now, and every night it's like, oh, okay, okay, thanks, thanks for reminding me. Um, and I do it, but if I didn't have that reminder, I might not do it, because it, I would forget it, I might lose track of time, and then I would just end up going to bed, because it's a reminder that's set at half eleven at night. I might go to bed and then just go, oh, I forgot it, and now I'm in bed, I can't be bothered. Um, but because it's on my phone or my Mac or my MacBook and it rings as a reminder with that goal, it holds me accountable because I don't want to let myself down. So set daily goals for yourself with reminders. That's going to help you get stuff done in December and beyond. Number four is very important. Who has who's ended up getting flack off people? Give me some hearts if this is you. Um, because their friends feel that you're ignoring them or they feel if they ring you up and they say, oh, do you want to get coffee? And you're like, no, too many times on the trot. They're like, oh, you never have time for us anymore, all this kind of stuff. Who gets that? Because you're trying to achieve stuff and in their life, you know, we all have different work ethics and stuff and some friends, I knew that was going, said Sam, some friends don't kind of get that sometimes. They might be in different jobs that just require them to work nine till five. Your job might require you to work all hours of the day. Uh, Yas says he gets it all the time. Kim says he gets it all the time. It's honestly, it's got me in a hot water in the past. And, and what, what I kind of do, I've said this before, I don't think, and correct me if I'm wrong, because everything I say on these scopes is just my opinion, right? I don't think, and I've said this before, that time is the most precious gift that you can give to somebody in your life. I'm looking at my close friends are really understanding. Well, that's good. And you get guilt tripped, Kim, yeah. So, so if, if, you, um, if you think time is the most precious thing you can give to somebody, um, say yes. Give me some yeses if you think that's the most precious gift you can give to somebody. Or is there something more precious than time that you can give to somebody? And I'm not talking about money or jewels or diamonds. What's the most precious thing you can give to someone in your life that might not be time? Anyone got, anyone got any idea? It's all gone very quiet on the scope. Attention? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Almost. So, yeah, okay, so Gemma's got it. Presence. Okay, if I'm out with you, let's just say my gym card here is my phone. If I'm out and I'm going, uh, presence says Ruth, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and Kim says that. So, uh, so say, like, you know, uh, me and Ruth go out for coffee. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I'm all right, Ruth. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah, everything's all right. Yeah, so, oh, really? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm looking 
at all that stuff on social media or my news app or my emails or whatever, I'm not truly present with you. There's no point in me giving you an hour of my time if my mind is elsewhere. So what I try and do with people is I will schedule them into my diary and go, right, okay, I've got like an hour Tuesday, 10 to 11, let's go and get a coffee. And sometimes people in the past have gone, oh my God, you're like scheduling me into your calendar. Is that all I'm worth to you? You know, you're just scheduling me in like I'm an appointment. And I'm like, you don't understand, right? I'm doing this because I want to be fully present when I'm with you. I want to, you know, I want to be clear on my purpose. If my purpose for that meeting is to come and catch up with you, have a great time with you, make you feel good about yourself and, you know, catch up on things that we've not spoke about in a while, have a good time, get very clear on my purpose before I go and do anything with anybody. Um, one of my biggest bugbears, says Kim, yeah. And, um, you know, and I get very clear on my vision of what I want to achieve from that meeting. I can't do that if I'm distracted. So I want to go, right, you know, I'm going to be with you for that one hour, completely present. I'm going to look you in the eye. I'm going to make connections with you. We're going to laugh and smile and have a great time. Um, and that's so valuable. And when you explain that to people, they get it. So time management tip number four is to talk it through with friends, right, and family. This applies to family as well. Our friends and family love to have our attention on a regular basis, right? And it's no different for us either. We love that as well, okay? We love that as well. But at the end of the day, when you've got important things to do, right, whether it be business or writing a new book or whatever it is you're doing, it's best that we let them know beforehand. Talk it out with your friends and family. So let them know when it's your time, you know, and what time you'll be available to speak and socialize with them, you know? Help them understand so that they won't have to feel ignored when you're being extra productive. Uh, and that's just like communication. That's something that I never used to realize. It never dawned on me. I'd just be like, why are you getting in a mood with me? You know, I don't, you don't want me to do well. I'm just trying to like, I can't please everyone all the time. I'm just trying to work, I'm trying to do my thing. And I'd be like, wait a minute, actually, you know what? Pfft, I'm in the wrong here. I should just tell you what I'm doing beforehand and go, listen, this is what I'm doing. I'm really, you know, I'm working really, really hard on this. I'm not gonna be available all of next week. But let's get something in the dive for Saturday, you know, and, and we can go out and we spend three hours and we'll go and have a great time and I can, you know, get really clear on what we're gonna what we're gonna do and, and we're gonna go out and just, you know, have a lot of fun where I'm not distracted, I'm not worried. Because sometimes who feels jittery when you know you've got things to do at home and you're um, and you're watching the time going, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And you're thinking I'm not here, I'm not really with you. I'm in another place because I'm already at home working on what I need to be working on and I'm feeling the pressure and then I get short tempered and it's not good. So talk it out with your friends and your family. It's gonna make you be a lot more productive because you can sit in front of your computer, completely chilled out, or sit with your journal, whatever you're writing, whatever you're doing, rehearsing, acting, anything like that. Um, and you can be completely guilt-free, okay? Like Kim said, you get guilt tripped. You can sit there completely guilt-free going, I'm in my zone, I'm, you know, I'm laser focused, and, I'm, I, and everyone knows, everyone knows that I'm like, you know, in hibernation effectively. No one can contact me and they're not going to get upset about it. Which leads to number five, the last tip. Um, as I say, I've got, I could go on forever about these, but this is just the five most important ones, I think. Um, and this is sometimes harder to do for some people than it is for other people to do. And that is to have a dedicated productivity space. So, so, give, me, so give me some yeses and some hearts if you've got one. Um, feel so guilty, says Kim. Sometimes get annoyed at my mom when she asks me for the fifth time what my schedule is this week. I'm totally in the wrong. Um, yeah, no, definitely. Sometimes you know we just let people know what's going on, um, and we don't feel guilty about it because we, you know, we try, we try to better ourselves. Um, so have a productivity space, guys. Now give, give me some yeses if you've got one and where that is. If you run a home-based business. It's hard, okay, working straight from your laptop. You know, having your own dedicated room is the, definitely the best way to go. Um, being at home can be distracting just in itself, okay? You can't expect to manage your time well if you're sat in a room full of tempting things. We've got food at home, we've got chocolate, we've got a smartphone. Costa's good, Sam, I work out Costa sometimes. TV, we've got newspapers, etc. You know, you'll only make it that much harder to concentrate when you're surrounded with all this stuff. So redesign a spare room if you've got if you've got that luxury. You know, turn it into an office, clear out any distractions from your productivity space so that you can be razor sharp with your focus and fully committed. I see sometimes, you know, people, particularly if you're I know like some people actors go on tour a lot and it's very difficult because you might be in a shared house and then people have their laptop on their lap in the front room in a shared house with three housemates with the telly on. And it's like, I'm, you're never gonna be able to get any work done. You're never gonna be productive in that kind of space. So if you can, 
change a room in your house if you've got the luxury of having your own place and you can create a little office. You know, it's literally all I've done here. This is just an office um, at home that's just used to be a, a spare room. You know, I just painted all the walls nice and white, made it all kind of clean and fresh, and um, you know, and it's just focused bookshelves, books, computer. There's no distractions in here. It's just me and my work. So when I'm in here, I can just shut the door. You know, turn my phone off if need be. And this is my productivity space. Um, for you, if you don't have that luxury, like Sam says, you know, hunt out places. Coffee shops are great. You can get, I mean, there's some Costa coffees near me, some Starbucks near me, um, free Wi-Fi. Buy one coffee, get limited, um, if you buy the um, the filter coffee, so you don't buy like the, the lattes and stuff like that, then you get unlimited refills all day if you buy one, uh, which is nice. So you have free coffee, free Wi-Fi, get yourself a comfy seat, sit in the corner. And also, what's great about that is I've met business contacts in coffee shops. Um, I've overheard conversations of people doing it either in the same niche as me, same industry as me, or they've come over and they've overheard a conversation that I've been having and gone, oh, excuse me, don't say you say such and such a thing. And I'm like, yeah. Um, a, um, a top um, mindset coach, um, who a, girl, a lady called Mumba, um, she's awesome, got a card somewhere. Mumba runs a company called Dynamic Heights Coaching. Um, I got that business card because she overheard a conversation that I was having with a friend of mine in Starbucks. He's gonna do a podcast with me on mindset. We also have a lovely independent coffee shop. Yeah, independent stuff's great. You can support local businesses. I'm all for that. Let's not just support the big guys who don't necessarily pay uh, corporation tax or as much as they should. Uh, but you'll meet, you know, you'll meet a lot of people there. But getting your own productivity space is key. You know, it's really, really gonna, you know, just gonna help you work in, in focused blocks of work. Uh, you know, as opposed to just doing 15 minutes here, watching 10 minutes of X Factor, 15 minutes here, five minutes of EastEnders. You know, you're going to be able to um, to get stuff done in focused blocks of work because you've got no distractions. So to recap, from five to one, get your own productivity space. Okay, wherever that is, whether it's at your house or it's elsewhere. Four. Talk it out with your friends and your family. Let them know you're not going to be available, and that is fine. And they don't feel any guilt. They don't feel ignored. No animosity. Everybody's friends. Three, set daily goals with reminders. That's the most important thing. It's not just about the goals, it's the with reminders. So have alarms set up on your phone and your calendar that sync with different devices. So whatever you're doing, you're going to see them um, and it's going to help you hold yourself accountable. You're going to feel guilty if you don't do it because it's smack bang there in front of you that you should be doing it. So reminders are key. Two, just write down a list of things that are wasting your time. You might not be aware of all of them. So that's massively important as well. If we're not aware of it, we can't do anything about it. And then number one, the first one, is probably the biggest bugbear of all of ours, I reckon, because it takes over our lives in so many ways. Hide or uninstall social media apps on non-essential devices. So get them off your phone, get them off your iPad, keep them on your laptop, or you know, or if you've only got an iPad, um, just delete them for you know particular periods of time where you know you've got to be focused. Um, you know, if you don't have a, the luxury of having different devices and you only got one, that's fair enough. But you know, if you need them, uh, you don't want to keep deleting them and installing them every half an hour. Um, but just delete them completely when you you know if you go right this next week, I've got to be laser focused on this to get it done, get it out of your life because um, it will take over. So they are the five. Uh, time management hacks, time management tips, you know, to maximize your productivity for 2016 and beyond. So who's going to smash December? Who's with me on that going, let's let all them other 99% of people let themselves down in December and do nothing, not get out there, not hustle, let themselves get behind in the gym, let themselves get behind on their eating, let themselves get behind with work, let themselves just let go of control of their lives. Yes, um, he's, uh, Hitesh is with us, yeah. Um, Cindy's with us, yeah, absolutely. Um, guys, yeah, honestly, it's like, seriously, it's, it's powerful. This is powerful, and there's not many people, uh, there's not many people know about this. They don't look at it in this way. I found, someone told me three years ago this. Um, I, I haven't come up with it, can't take credit for it. Um, Carl is here. Carl, man, you're a little bit late, dude, if you've only just joined, but watch the replay, Carl. We've been through some pretty powerful time management hacks um, tonight. Um, but yeah, not a lot of people, you know, do use December to its fullest. So many of my friends are already in wind down now, and it's not even December; it's just the end of November. Everyone's getting emails through for Black Friday. It's Thanksgiving, um, you know, tomorrow. Everyone's getting all those deals. Everyone's getting the shopping mood. They're all getting distracted. I went to the gym today. Man, it was empty, empty already. It was just me and my friend in there, and like two other people. You know, previous weeks um, in October, September, October, it's been packed. 
um, it's getting less and less and less. People are going out on the Raz Christmas parties and stuff already. Periscope is being a dick. What did I just miss? Ah, oh, Kim. I hope it's not been a dick for everybody, um, and you can still watch the re <laughs> you still watch the replay. It seems like it's all right for me. I've not noticed. Sometimes it'll it'll cut out for me here. It seems like it's been okay on my end. So hopefully the replay is fine, and I'm going to then upload the replay for this to YouTube. So tomorrow you'll be able to go to actonthis.tv, and you can click on Periscope, and then you'll be able to click on the. This will be the first one that comes up. Uh, it'll be labelled five time management tips to maximise your productivity for 2016 and beyond. You can click on it and watch the full. Um, scope again and download a PDF document of the slides that we shared tonight. So thanks guys, thank you so much for um, for giving me your time. Very much appreciate, as always, people spending time with me. Um, I do these for, for you guys, you know, literally hopefully they're, they're helping you you know, get further in your life faster. If you want to join the community uh, at actonthis.tv, come on over, completely free. If you're an actor, you'll find it very, very useful. I interview some of the best minds in acting, um, you know, agents, casting directors, actors, uh, we do live broadcasts, podcasts, articles. Um, get back to doing your work, yes, absolutely. Awesome. You're working late, man. I mean, that's dedication for you. Half past ten. And he's, uh, and he's on it. But yeah, keep it, uh, keep it up. Pleasure, Gemma. I um, hope your voice reel, you've got your, I did your voice reel and you've got the finished voice reel now, haven't you? I've been recording so many voice reels for people. I've run a company called VO Focus. If you want to get into voiceover, go to VOFocus.com. We do workshops uh, and record voice reels. Gemma came along recorded an awesome voice reel you sound great Gemma I think the royal uh, the royal the reel will work very well for you um, so get it out there to people send it off to agents uh, you know get it up on voicespro.com get it out on voices123 voice bunny all these places get yourself heard um, don't keep it sat on your computer because that's what a lot of people do they spend all this money on a voice reel keep it sat on their computer as an mp3 and they're like what you know you need to get it out there get it earning you some money um, and lastly guys bulletproof actor um, unstoppable confidence infinite success my mindset course which is going to help people 10 times well it's not going to help you it's going to do it for you it's going to 10 times your confidence 10 times your motivation help you get further faster in your life get rid of your limited beliefs or your bullshit stories that you tell yourself um, and it's going to help you write an empowering limitless life for yourself that you're going to live moving forward it's about five hours of video 120 pages of pdf documents podcasts online webinars that are going to be live when it launches comes out in december we're going to be going through it live in january on the, online and uh, with all the people who sign up then they're going to make it live what's book club on friday um for, for bulletproof actor by the way go to bulletproofactor.com and you can sign up for an invite bulletproof book club um at the moment might not be on friday because i might be otherwise engaged it might be saturday i'm going to la next week um, next Wednesday and there's quite a few things that I need to sort out before I go and one of those things might only be able to be sorted out on Friday evening so it might end up being Saturday or Sunday night if it had to be a weekend night what would you prefer Saturday or Sunday give me some feedback sat, sat or sun what's your preference 10 p.m. book club and I don't know what book it's gonna be on yet because <laughs> we finished with Lewis Howe's book got another book today we can't do it on book club but this is great simple green smoothies all about healthy smoothies that actually taste good it's by two great women Jen Hansard and um, Jada Selner heard a podcast with them thought their ethos was great went and bought their book um, but yeah Saturday or Sunday what would you prefer either okay let's just play it by ear then if you're not part of the Facebook group get to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash bulletproof actor join the facebook group and I'll, I'll post updates in there as well um, so awesome guys thank you so much for joining i will be back um either friday saturday or sunday but i'll keep you posted i will let you know sunday's my birthday though wow happy birthday sam if you are live on periscope we'll all sing to you well i will no one else can really sing along i'll kind of sing a little bit um but yeah thanks for joining i will um i'll speak to you soon um, and remember yeah let's just smash december use those time management um, tips you know to your advantage let's get ahead of the pack remember you are the one percent not the 99 percent of sheep so